Every time I see Esty Besty, I just think about was it the last race? He was like, let him know I'm coming for him or something oh. like that. It's like his, that was his line for D Drive to Survive DTS. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Racing Show here at Race Plaza Media. Today is part two of the 2024 F1 library reviews. If you watched yesterday's video, you already know I prepared it. Milan has not, well, has briefly maybe seen them, but not really looked at the 2024 libraries? Because you've been trying to avoid them. I've been trying to avoid them, but I think the ones that I've seen, like, like that I've scrolled past uh -huh. was actually, I think all of them were in the previous Okay, video. perfect. So then so, this ones are gonna be fresh to you. I mean, I never saw like an yeah. actual look. I always scrolled past and was like, I don't wanna see it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was five for five. I guessed all of them right. So the expectations are high. Very high today. But I'm a little bit more nervous because these are gonna be, I think the teams where sometimes they don't do a lot of changing up yes those, those. looking at you remove okay <laughs> <laughs> i think you're gonna try to throw me off <laughs> but right. i'm excited let's, yes, do, let's it. do it all right starting off with Haas. Haas. okay i totally forgot that we hadn't looked at Haas. here we go what do we think okay so the top one is the new one because it has a lot more black on the top mm -hmm. and in because the whole like the nose is black now and last year it wasn't yes and and then the wing wow it looks much much the front wing looks much different it has like a much bigger like curve if mm -hmm. you look at it and i mean i'm saying this thinking that that's my answer is correct okay yes but also the back looks a little bit different the uh the spoiler essentially or the back wing uh -huh. looks slightly different because you can see the sides there Here. um but yeah i am thinking top is new also oh wow the t the sides are a lot more black now now that i'm taking a look yeah so i say top is new bottom is old okay let's take a look see oh getting into the vault <laughs> And of course, over the, the the break, we said goodbye to our beloved Günther Steiner. Sorry, I'm celebrating because I already saw that I'm right. Oh, <laughs> I was like, you're happy that Günther No, left. no, 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 no. Um, it will be interesting to see. Hang on, I just want to enjoy this real quick. No, 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 go for it. <laughs> yes, so you're absolutely correct. The same thing, like we've been saying in the last video, one of the main changes, of course, were the side pods, how they they position the radiators is a little bit differently, so it changes the airflow and also, also downforce. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Lots of carbon fiber, and they also have the American flag on the on the nose. Did you see it? No, I didn't even see that. Well, here you'll see it right oh, there. We have Chipotle, something else, and the American flag. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Um, it will be interesting to see. I hope they have a good year with the new team chef. Yes. Here, let's go back so you can just look at um, it. And then, yeah, I think this one is actually... At first I was like, because I looked at the middle two and I was like, oh no. Mm -hmm. But then clearly the nose has changed significantly. Yeah. Yeah, you do have the American flag. I didn't even see that, but just all that black that mm -hmm. you didn't have before. Yeah. yeah. I... Um, I'm gonna see also that the top part looks a little bit more round so right behind the the driver that looks a lot more round than here than, this, than yeah. the bottom one so I was reading also like our new the new team principal said that the, there hasn't been as many changes as they as they wanted to because they made the big upgrades in Austin last year mm -hmm. which pushed them back two months for the upgrades for or the changes for this one mm -hmm. so they did say that in the wind tunnel and um, during testing, they did notice some improvements, but mm -hmm. they want to get people not too excited or too many hopes up quite yet. Mm -hmm. But they're planning on, of course, bringing upgrades to improve the car. But there's definitely obviously been some changes to it. Also, if you look at the side pods, it's much narrower now. So, much more narrow. Yeah, those have been changed. This is the professional way to determine. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, also a little bit, um, the, the halo is a little bit more white now and the black is more on the inside. Ah, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this one uh, was a little bit easier. Yeah, guys. Yay, Huki and Magnussen. I hope Magnussen will have a better um, season this year. I think he was struggling quite a lot last year. Mm -hmm. And our boy, 
spooky. It's how we got him. Did actually really, really well. And it's also kind of awesome, like, how he kind of got back into I mean, into he was got a call while he was on vacation, I think, with yeah, his family. Yeah, by step, because he had uh, COVID, <sighs> right? And that's why he helped out for Aston. He did two races in mm -hmm. 2022. And then they're like, hey, man, come back. That's awesome. Out of retirement, he had to lose a couple of pounds. Mm -hmm. And then, but he did really well, I he think, did, yeah. especially considering the car that he mm -hmm. drove. So hopefully he does yeah. even better. I mean, both of I mean... <laughs> As per usual, I want everybody to do well, but you can't, not everybody can. Not well. everyone can win. <laughs> but I, I just want it to be a very fun, competitive season. Not just, I mean, last year, the, everybody after first place was very competitive. Everyone after a max was <laughs> so, interesting. So we'll see how yeah. uh, this season goes. Okay. All right, next up. Next, Alpine. Alpine. Ooh, okay, you ready? The French, the all French team, right? All French team as of right now. We'll see what happens in 2025 since everybody's contract is up in 2025. Not everybody. Oh, top is new. Easy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because I'm that good, guys. I have good memory. Um, okay, so clearly um, they have less pink, which I'm glad because I don't like the pink. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, when they had that like all pink Ugh. library. It's I just mean, like, I, I don't have anything against the color pink, but that pink specifically is not, so not ugly. Not the best pink, but I think they might have a full pink one for special races again, like they did last year. They yeah. had a couple, I think at the beginning of the season, they mm -hmm. started off with full pink and then they mellowed it down a little bit. But yeah, so you say the top one is... Yes, because the bottom one looks very familiar. Mm -hmm. I think it's also very interesting that they have a Microsoft as a sponsor. Mm -hmm. But it's cool, you know, why not get that money? Yeah. Let's see right here, um, of course, the nose looking very different mm -hmm. this year round. Mm -hmm. the, the front wing, they tapered down that pink mm -hmm. and it's more black now. Now it's not, it just has like that pink What around. is it, black or is it... Carbon fiber? Yes, carbon fiber. <laughs> yes, carbon fiber. Of course, like the halo mm -hmm. being now black as well. So yeah, I think this one is actually also quite easily spotable. All right, let's take a look. Imagine I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm so right. I know everything. But I'm right. Yes, you're yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. That I didn't see that back part. There's... This is a lot more feels like a YouTube video yes. editor. Than a... It's also much shorter. Than the other videos that we've oh, seen that's it. so far, that's it. Oh, okay. Do you want to watch so, it again? No, hang on. So this was what I was talking about. I didn't even see that they have now, now the black, white, and then pink in the back. Yeah, I don't think you can see it you on can... the pictures that I have. Yeah, okay. You much. can see only a little, a little bit. A little bit. Here. Yeah. I actually, like that. I also like the A right over here a lot. Oh, for uh, Alpine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I like that they kept the pink because the pink is just it stands out, but it's not as much. And they added like a little bit of a darker pink in there as well. Okay, I feel yeah, like I see so it's that. a little bit different. The only thing I'm a little concerned about mm -hmm. in high speeds. Uh huh. How much difference can I tell between the Williams and that now? I think still a lot. Because you have the pink on the side? Because, yeah, one yeah, of that's that. True. And then I feel the Williams is a lot more blue. That's true. That's true. And they have two different blues versus this is blue, pink, and black. That is true. That At least that's what I think. And especially because if you're looking from the top, you still have the pink also on the, the back wing there. You that have it true. in the front. But you, it's you a have little the bit DWT. less pink. Yeah. I, I think you'll be able to tell. But, I mean, we'll be able to... But, in two weeks for sure but yeah definitely a lot less blue mm -hmm. also because like the top part behind the driver that's all black now yeah and then you have like that castro and then behind it the blue so wow yeah quite a yeah big i think once uh, alpine launched theirs people were like well everybody's going like all black now because <laughs> this is significantly we, more yeah absolutely carbon fiber dark colors than it was in the previous season yeah. so let's take a look at their outfit they do look different too. Mm -hmm. They also hear much have more black, of the course. The different shades of pinks on the sides, a lot more black, but they still have their big uh -huh. colors. Yeah. Um. So I think I think it's a good choice. It, it, I feel like it kept the essence mm -hmm. of the Alpine that we've gotten to know, mm -hmm. but it it changed it up a little bit. Every time I see Esti Besti, I just think about was it the last race? He was like, "Let him know I'm coming for him" or something. Uh like that. That is like his, that was his line for D, drive to survive DTS. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can say to us that I'm going to go for it, so better be ready. As to that, Ocon recording lines for drive to survive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a lot more black, the suit. Not, not bad. Yeah, I'm also rooting them for them this year. I hope they... More reliability, better yes. reliability. And then also that there's not as much, um, I feel like there was a little bit of 
infighting yeah, competition they, I happening. I already don't get along. Not they, as isn't, well. Isn't the rule that only the family can attend only one race? Like uh, one of the families. Can not... attend, yeah. <laughs> so I hope they, they get along a little bit because I yeah. know they've also caused each other accidents last year. Yeah, I think um, Pierre on accident took out uh, Esteban in the Australia race. Yes, I mean, the Australia race was wild. If you did like, not see 2023 Australia... <laughs> just watch the highlights. Just... <laughs> it's like, I think only 10 people finished the race. I mean, so it's... everyone scored points. <laughs> It was nuts. It was wild. Two, red, uh, two restarts, two... Yeah. I mean, it was And insane. then the second race... I mean, okay, yeah. Yeah. Let's definitely check it out. If you haven't, it's absolutely insanity. But yeah. yeah, so let's go to the next one. Yeah. Okay, so this one is our new team. Our oh, other... yeah, this is Alpha Tauri, right? Yes. So now it's Visa Cash App RB. That's the name? It's not Alpha Tauri anymore? No. It's called Visa Cash App? RB. Or in short, just RB. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. No, you know, I work at the bank, so I get PTSD when I hear anything visa related. Yeah. <laughs> But oh no, yeah. oh, no. So let's see no, if no, you no. can spot, spot the difference. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, top is the new one. Yes. I personally like it. You'll see it in the video. The blue, at least on the in the video, looks gorgeous hugo boss is their their sponsor i know i didn't realize they must have either. the nicest race suits <laughs> <laughs> they look like suits don't lie to me okay um i will say though yes it looks very very different obviously very easy to tell the difference mm -hmm. i will say now seeing the old alpha uh -huh. i actually think it's absolutely gorgeous the one I, from last year i do like it the only thing i don't love that it was the the nose was all white but i like the back part and i like these um That reddish, it's not red red, it's like this neon, uh -huh. orangey red almost. I, I, yeah. I love that back part of it, for sure. I, I think like past like the nose part, like right here. Yeah. And the way it bleeds in and this, yes. this back portion, essentially anything starting from the halo and back, mm -hmm. absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Compared to this one, it is very different. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I... If I like it as much as the bottom one, let's, I'm, gonna, let's, I'm not gonna. Let's gonna watch gonna the video so mm. you can see. New race suits too. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I like that. That it's like a game almost. Oh, oh that's Danny at three, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, the original video is a little bit longer, but I cut it down, so it's just like about yeah. a minute. And people said it reminds them a lot of like the Toro Rosso days. Okay, interesting. There, actually, the chrome blue right? looks, uh, looks very, very beautiful. That's what I was thinking. But I don't know if it's just a rendering of it. That's, you know? I'm not sure either, so we'll see how it looks on the track. But on in this video, I think it looks really nice. Okay, so I think I 100% agree with you. The chrome blue, mm -hmm. absolutely gorgeous. I think what I don't like about it is that white banner. The, the middle, the, the middle. Part I wish of it, it would more because I'm a designer, right? <laughs> I, I wish it would kind of blend more in, like, you know how the white blended into the old Alpha mm -hmm. kind of better? I and wish it was, I it. wish it was, you know how you have yeah. the C on the side? Uh -huh. And here it's just this really harsh line, and mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't want to disrespect them. Or me, mm -hmm. but that's kind of how um, it would look if I would design a car, you know, <laughs> on like on uh, F1, oh, you okay. know, it's like because I don't know exactly what I'm doing yeah. and stuff like that. Not to hate on the people who made this, you yeah. know, a uh, great job. That's the only critique I have. But as you, like you said, the chrome blue looks gorgeous. Yeah. So I'm yeah. curious to see, like you said, how it looks on the actual track. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I don't think I've seen a footage of it, of them actually driving it. Mm -hmm. It's just different from mm -hmm. the Williams blue and yes. the Alpine blue yes. because it is chrome. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see. And let's look at their... So I had actually seen the race suits mm -hmm. because I'd seen a picture of Danny, I uh -huh. think, because there's obviously a lot of talks around Danny and what he will be doing. Is he going to be taking over the Red Bull seat? Uh, mm -hmm. Imagine if he took the Mercedes seat. I feel like it really depends on how he does the this season. season. I hope he has a good season. I know. I mean, yeah, last season he had bad luck with the first race coming back and immediately being <sighs> injured and then being out for a couple races, which gave Liam Lawson an absolutely great opportunity. And he did really well. I, I mean, re really well for a rookie. Mm -hmm. Also just jumping in. So hopefully, I mean, I, I love Danny, but I hope he does well. 
but we we sh we shall see. Yeah, yeah well, um, yeah, we'll see. I guess only time can tell. I will say I do like the helmet that Yuki's carrying. Oh, mm -hmm. um, I honestly thought maybe one of the one of the things that could potentially happen because like no one knows yeah. what will happen, right? Maybe Danny will gr get that Red Bull seat, mm -hmm. and then Liam will get the. Um, Visa, Visa Cash, Cash App, App. RB seat. <laughs> yes. The RB seat. Just because I would be, I'd be surprised if they would give a rookie immediately the RB mm -hmm. seat. Mm -hmm. Because it's like the expectations are very high if you're going to be partnered with Max. They want someone Oh, who, to give a rookie the Red Bull seat. Exactly. Yeah. They want someone who needs to consistently come in second place. Yeah. So you can, you know, I mean, I know he was carrying the team last year. Nothing against Checo, but Checo oh. was having an off season. He had a bunch of... I mean, like, he started well and then... There was this this middle section where he didn't do quite yeah. as well. Yeah, in, um, in yeah. his home race. Oh, so oh, so but, heartbreaking. Yeah, yes. Not to get off track. <laughs> but I mean, no one knows. This is all obviously spe speculations. Let us know your speculations or maybe your dream. Yes. Um, for next season. But yeah, quite a huge difference. So that was an easy one for me. Yes. So we're three for three, right? <laughs> yeah. I think so. so now the big two. I think this one I'll be able to tell too, because they're probably back to silver. Yeah. So top is the new one. <laughs> the only reason why I. I said they're back to silver uh -huh. is because I think the last time that the, they did the black one, they mm -hmm. only did it for a year and then they switched oh, back. Oh, so, okay. So I that didn't was... realize because I was a little bit surprised. Okay. I was like, oh, they're doing, but it's not fully silver as you can yes. tell. Actually, this is like a kind of like a nice blend. Like a gradient almost. Um, mm -hmm. But I will say, I just think that black Mercedes... Uh -huh. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I, I know that the silver file, silver era, yada, 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 but I just think it's so gorgeous. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I agree, but I also like that they kind of, oh, wait, you have to oh. hold it higher. Um, but they, I, I like that they combined it. Yes, absolutely. I love that obviously the teal is still uh -huh. in there. They have also the, those, those Mercedes stars yeah, they have in the back. I actually here, think it's which very is gorgeous. really, really nice. And I like the way they implemented that red from Ineo. Yes. Or however you say it. Mm -hmm. I actually, and I, that's the thing, like they have like this ombre going on, mm -hmm. you see at the end, and that's what I would want for the RB team. Yes. You know, like an ombre going into yeah. that blue. It looks really nice. Mm -hmm. I actually like that they kept that um, teal color almost. It's a little bit different like a turquoise mm -hmm. and that they have it along the nose yes. coming in I it's think like, that's it's actually... like almost slimming or like contouring and contouring yeah honestly nose. contouring for the nose it, yeah because it does look slimmer right uh -huh. I think it's a very gorgeous design choice or I actually quite like it yeah they also did some changes to the wing yes and there was some talk it's, it's not as round it has a little bit more blue yeah and there are some talks about which I have to do more research on it but apparently they've added like this part to the wing mm -hmm. that is like a, a loop pole that they're using mm, so maybe kind of like how they had the party so, system like a couple of years ago the das they called it where they could the uh, driver could yes. do with the steering yes. so maybe uh, mercedes is like listen we're not gonna catch red bull <laughs> you know doing whatever so we're gonna yeah. try to find a different way so there's definitely some changes also to the shape just as the other ones mm -hmm. with the the side pods as well i mean you can see a big change in the well, side because pod the other here. one didn't have a side pod originally right? yeah exactly it's the whole no side pod content yeah concept and i will say i think if there wouldn't be a cost like a cap uh, cap gap uh -huh. maybe they could have made it work because they could have thrown millions of millions of dollars at I it i mean that's what a lot of the team said also like i was reading i think it was also rb and haas and maybe alpine or williams they were talking about like all the changes they wanted to make throughout the year mm -hmm. but they just couldn't because of the cap but it also contributes to probably the midfield being much more interesting right mm -hmm. so uh red bull came up with the design and it's clearly working out right yeah and so they're just running off with that but it was cool that mercedes tried to do a different concept yes. right and it's like hey let's try no side pods mm -hmm. however it there being, you know, the cost gap, meaning they can't just spend millions of dollars making it work. Yeah. You then just eventually switch away from it to do what everyone else is doing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, anyways, let's go back to the um, design. I actually quite like it. Yes. So uh, Mercedes didn't really create the fancy intro video. <laughs> didn't? They didn't. They I've it's been, a cost gap, I've guys. Been, okay? I've been checking every day and just trying to see, but... They, I mean, they had like the launch video, mm -hmm. which all of them, of course, have where the drivers talk with mm -hmm. like a host and stuff. Mm -hmm. But that was all they did. <laughs> like they didn't have like the special like reveal video. Mercedes, next time, just give us a call. <laughs> we have a phone and we can just... <laughs> 
<laughs> like, come on, you guys are one of the biggest teams. So what I put in here now instead is just a short that they posted. <laughs> this mother effort, <laughs> honestly. So we can see oh, that, it a little was, bit on the track. Oh, there's Hamilton. Yeah. I mean, it looks good, but yeah, they didn't really care. I mean, come on, guys. Come oh, on, this is not how you get hyped. And there's also no photo shoot with the drivers as of yet, where they show like Maybe the, that's still coming? the new suit. I mean, I guess so, but it came out the same day as I believe Aston launched theirs, and Aston had all the pictures. Maybe they're like, oh, we'll 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 do shadow dropping it the day before the race or something I like that. I don't know. I don't know. Before but like practice starts. They've been posting things, of course, on mm -hmm. their socials, and some of it has been more George Russell heavy. So oh. people. People are like, oh, you're already like not showing Hamilton. <laughs> and it's like people are immediately I raging. I you all of this was already pre-egg recorded and probably done. I mean... <laughs> or it's uh, just like a coincidence because they got like good shots of George or, or whatever. Also, maybe it's also because they were like, okay, George, you're going to be doing this and maybe Hamilton will be doing something else. I know, but... I mean, trust, fast forward to me complaining about them treating Russell differently this season than Hamilton. <laughs> You of can course. flip this and throw it in my face <laughs> later on the road. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's go to the last one. <sighs> okay, so I'm four for four. This is the one I think that's going to throw me off because Red Bull, they kind of always look like Red Bull. So let's see Red Bull. Oh my god. I Okay, I know. The top one is the new one. How would you Um say? I think it's based on the bull. Based on the bull behind the driver. Oh my god, you're so good. Am I right? Yeah. Yes! Do, 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 do. Five for five, ten for ten, baby! <laughs> okay, let me actually take a closer look. So the front actually looks... Okay, here's the thing also. Uh -huh. You know what they always say with computers? Don't break what's not broken. Oh. Or like, don't fix what's not broken. Yeah. You have a car that is so fast as a rocket ship or whatever, right? So no big change is needed. But I mean, you can still make the design. I mean, but... Um, I also get it because Red Bull has a very clear visual um, like, brand. Uh, even uh, like if like they write an other series. Yes, exactly, absolutely. exactly. So that's why I'm like, um, I, I get it. This is also Verstappen's car. Uh, but I'm, I was very, <laughs> I didn't think you would immediately get it. But like, yes, clearly, I mean, here. Yeah, it looks a little here. bit more scrunched up. Yeah. And I was like, I don't remember it looking like that. My hopes going into this, like looking at this for the first time, mm -hmm. I thought I might be able to tell based on the blue. Mm -hmm. Because I actually, when you see the car, like, quote unquote, in real life, or they show pictures of it, I, uh -huh. I love that. That blue, that matte blue, uh, whatever situation. My uh -huh. car is also a matte color. Yes. So I'm, I love matte any color, mm -hmm. really. I'm right, right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, let's look at their video. <laughs> Everyone is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. but yeah, We'll see. I'm curious to see if they're going to be as dominant. This season, I mean, I would be surprised if they weren't. Um, a lot of the designs and like technical changes have been following the Red Bull I, I, model in uh -huh. terms of shape and different things. Which so, makes sense, right? You copy the fastest one on the yeah. track. I know that the the suspension that they're using, I know mm -hmm. that Ferrari opted to do their own design instead of the Red Bull one. Yes, exactly. I, I have heard about that. Um, but And there's, I think there's just two different teams that, yeah that do that most people are copying the suspension and the the side pot shapes of the ripple mm -hmm. I think, yeah like you said it makes sense to follow whoever does it best um here's the the suit i think is the the blue on the side new i don't know that, I... honestly here on the bottom right that looks like new yeah that so... that i think oh it's is a bull new. i thought yeah. it was new from pokemon <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that is maybe new. I'm yeah. not sure about the blue on the sides. I feel like that was there. I, but this one, know. the the red ah, okay. gives you wings. I don't remember seeing that last year. Mm -hmm. But, but it's, then again, I mean, you, it's, you don't really see it's quintessential Red, red Bull. Bull. Yeah. yeah, 10 for 10. Yeah, good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's look at the the overall from the five that we watched or reviewed at for this mm -hmm. video. So I feel like overall, it's a little bit of darker theme for this one. Yes. But I, I still think that you'll be able to tell the difference. The difference. Yes. 
Um, I also will say now seeing all 10 of them. Oh, here, let's put all 10 yes, on Yes, um, I will say actually, I was surprised how much change there was mm -hmm. because based on what I've heard and I think what you've kind of hinted at that people were quite disappointed that mm -hmm. they thought there wasn't enough changes. Actually, I just saw, I really like this part here on the Ferrari. Ah. So like kind of how you have that like- The little carbon fiber carbon right there. Fiber kind of peeking through <laughs> that actually looks really nice. Yeah. Overall, I will say I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I, I think because my expectations were so low, mm -hmm. fortunately, they were able to meet and exceed expectations. Yes. Uh -huh. But I also, I feel like you, now you, we can compare it a little bit. Like you see all of them have like those more slimmed down side pods here. Mm -hmm. Similar shapes, not everybody here. The RB is a little bit different. I think honestly, the RB and the Mercedes look more similar. A little bit. Like yeah. the side pod, you know, then, see how it's a more of a straight line. Yeah. And then also like here, the curve is a little bit different. So here it's yeah. a little bit flat out. Here's more curved down. Yeah. So, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how that affects racing because mm -hmm. i mean airflow is a big thing also with like downforce or cooling and mm -hmm. um, aerodynamics so it does have a big I and mean, it's insane how much the shape of those cars affect the actual racing uh -huh. and the speed and the I, i've also read that a couple of them have adjusted like the position of where the radiator sits on the vehicle oh. to create um, a more balanced car okay i'm trying to remember who it was i think it was either Haas or williams had the radiator previously further in the front, mm -hmm. which caused them to have an imbalance going into corners a lot. Which is not good. No. So they've moved it back uh -huh. to create a more like balanced car. There's been some some chassis changes as well. I now know how to pronounce the word properly. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. Okay, I will say now though. Mm -hmm. So I, I like the black and green, but I don't think I like the design as much on the for um, the steak, steak because mm -hmm. it is once again the same critique that i have with the rb mm -hmm. it's like it's very like cut it doesn't seem like it flows with the with the design mm -hmm. of the car mm -hmm. so now seeing all of them i maybe i just don't like the hard corners yeah who knows i but it's just like you have kind of here with the mercedes you have like this flow and this ombre right here and mm -hmm. here even with the s martin and stuff like that and i don't know but here it just seems like doo -doo -doo -doo, you know mm -hmm. so I mean, this is like, obviously, like, who cares in the end? Overall, I would say I am pleased mm -hmm. with the changes. I'm pleased that I won. <laughs> I wasn't competing against anyone but myself. Literally nobody. <laughs> um, but it was it wasn't easier than I thought it would be. Yeah. Okay, good. I think, yeah, I think the most difficult one would be the Red Bull, but I... It literally looks almost identical, but the 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 bull on the back. Yeah, that's I mean, what's... granted, let's say because people have been <laughs> commenting on it, like it looks identical in design, but technically, like design, yeah. like um, there's been some changes, like to the of wing course, yeah, and yeah. stuff like that, which will make a difference, mm -hmm. like we've been saying. But yes, so design wise, which is the main idea behind this video, we've been criticizing or commenting on the colors and where the logos are and stuff like that yes um i will say i think mm -hmm. the one the winner for me okay is mclaren interesting uh-huh i i think the ferrari looks absolutely gorgeous i think so yeah I'm, i i think honestly the alpine has changed a lot mm -hmm. i don't know if i like it still i think it looks quite busy on the side i mean i would just like a little bit more I know we hate on the pink, but I would like a little bit less of the black still. A more blue? I don't know. More blue? <laughs> <laughs> so I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's something. It could also be more white if you wanted to, but we do know that paint is heavy. Like, there's, mm. that's the whole thing. I mean, that's why... Carbon I, fiber? Well, yeah. But uh, that's why also planes are white. Mm -hmm. Because p paint is so heavy and it just costs fuel. It costs... Mm -hmm. Like, it just adds weight to it. Mm -hmm. So there's a reason behind why they choose to do mm -hmm. maybe less paint mm -hmm. to the demise of design. <laughs> okay, I, w I will say, I'm not saying that the mclaren is the prettiest car uh -huh. i just think it has the best upgrade from oh, the previous year okay so got I, it. I just wanted to clarify that got it got it got um, it yeah i don't think that i think honestly the prettiest on the grid for me is the ferrari i agree that's why i was a little bit surprised because i was like I, I agree now like it definitely did the the best change with mclaren i really like the new design mm -hmm. but i think ferrari just, it just I mean, looks gorgeous it's so nice. 
it looks yeah. absolutely gorgeous. Once again, I, I think the Red Bull looks just like a Red Bull. Mm -hmm. I don't have any grief with that. I think the Mercedes looks nice. Mm -hmm. I, I like the Aston Martin. I like the Haas. Mm -hmm. I think the Williams is nice too. And I'm curious to see the RB blue yes. in real life. Yes, I think once we see it in real life, I can make a fair judgment because on the picture right there mm -hmm. not so much the video like you said was really nice yes overall i think ferrari we'll absolutely see. absolutely gorgeous yeah well um, the good thing is we'll be able to see them on the grid this upcoming week for pre-testing yes. in bahrain mm -hmm. um, which i'm so excited about but i also i have to say i feel like pre-testing yes that's great we can finally see them again on the thing but it's like it doesn't say anything it doesn't really say because they also a lot of times they hold back sandbagging yeah and stuff which like that. i i get you don't want to let out all your your secrets yet mm -hmm. and stuff but it's just nice that it's finally happening again it's yes. kicking back into gear yes so let us know down in the comments down below which one you guys think is the prettiest yes. now on the the season and then who you guys think also had the best design change yeah as always thank you guys so much for tuning in like and subscribe and we will be seeing you guys here tomorrow at the daily racing show bye bye bye, -bye.